it's still pouring rain here, as we can see with on board with Dennis Jordan. Beautiful camp. And what has happened to Nuno Pinto, who's way down the order struggling? I wonder if he's gone out on slick tyres. Speaking of Shara, for Butler Powell Motorsports, we'll be starting from pole position in the penultimate feature race of the season here at Sebring in GT Pro Season 3, powered by Traction.gg. Look at Timotei Andonovsky trying to jump the start on that second row. It has backfired dramatically as Vigniev Shara is underway from pole position, defending to the inside. Yellow flag already out. That'll be for Nuno Pinto on his, uh, on his sort of struggling lap. And everyone rolling through. Lorenzo Arisi off on the left-hand side of your screen already as we dive our way down to turn two. I think there was a Bentley off in the background trying to dive his way down the order at the moment. It is Shara leading away from Simicic, Jordan and Andonovsky, the same as it was coming towards the start. But Jan von der Heide has already worked his way up to fifth. Let's take a look at what happened on board with Lorenzo Arisi. He got one of the BMW Team GB cars. Oh, that was Erhan Yovsky, maybe just pinching him a little bit. I think he was giving plenty of room. Or Worked out for everyone. McCaspers also, also now on to risk of capital already. It seems like the Bentley is really struggling in these conditions right now. Yeah, Stolzer will know that better than most because he will, in the practice that they would have done prior to this, of course, he would have been fighting with his teammate. Oh, that serve away to Pelesny round. So he had a bit of drama at the end of the previous race and that continues into the start of this one. Really close. Maybe he was looking for a dive uh, into tower. This is looking backward. I believe that might be Ibrahim Khan. Uh, to the inside of T3, certainly is in that Ferrari. There's contact. I'm not 100% sure from that angle. Well, let's see what happened with him, and that'll be Turka Hakkinen. Uh, this is what happened down into Sunset. Oh, Turka Hakkinen! Oh, made a little bit of contact with him, and that's kind of what happened. Wondered why he was down the escape road. Not necessarily, don't blame Marnus Jonvliet to the inside. Once again of Alex Siebel, no way through at present, but this might work out as the slip and slide process has gone the way of the R8 on the exit of T1 to the inside Arna Schumfleet before we hit the apex at three. There should be the position made just ahead. Siebel backs out position gain for Arna Schumfleet. Yeah, well, that was a great maneuver that we saw here. Well, we've got Rissa Kappa and Jody Swears next to each other now. Roman Kajor Esports with Oniofsky being out. He's uh, got Peo Pev directly on the six who we're riding on board with at the moment. Looking for a dive to the inside at Sunset Bend. I think he might be able to do this. Siebel backs out and allows Peo Pev through. There's Andonovsky and Dennis Jordan, by the way, are going side by side on the run through Cunningham. There's a little bit of contact through the Collier curve. A big slide from Timotei Andonovsky. They are fighting out as hard as you can get. A little bit of a squeeze there as they run through tower hit the apex and Anovsky is fighting hard it could open the door he sensed that Kazdor behind is a man on a mission back on third after the previous maneuvers we saw now around the outside in sunset bad Yuri Kastab also looking up the inside there might be a chance if Anovsky goes very wide now there's Yuri Kastab trying to get involved better traction on the exit of the corner and he might move up to four that is now Red Bull Racing Esports on three and four and then it's Arno Schoenfeld wow. look at that he's just letting Yuri Kastab pass because it seems like that Porsche journey is unstoppable lifted out at turn one. Oh, he's going to hit his teammate. Oh, no. They have made contact ever so slightly. They are going to keep going. Bring on board with Kasper Stolzer, trying to get himself inside the top 10. Michi Hoyer directly ahead of him, the one hanging on to that position. And he is going to run very, very wide at T1, maybe open the door for Kasper Stolzer. I think it might just be enough for a dive down at turn three. Hoyer just keeping it on the racing line at present. Not enough of a gap for Kasper Stoltz to fire his way through, and that's not something we'd normally say. Yeah, we will get Ooh. new winners if Shara manages. Let's see. That was so. Oh, that was the Nuto Alex car attacking. Oh, oh again from no. the high on the rear. Ah, oh, that was that sad. To trouble. This is looking backwards from Dennis Jordan. So you'll see uh, Andonovsky switch back. That is a lovely, lovely dive. I will have to say, really nicely done. Uh, waited for Dennis Jordan to start coming back across. Yeah, I mean, he, he wants to get rid of Casper Stolz on the map because he can't really concentrate on closing the gap to Alex Siebel. And talking about the gap, there is Casper Stolz once again sending it up the inside. There was too late for Michi Hoyer to react and even close the door. Seems like he wants to cruise through it, and now oh. there is not a lot of space to the wall. He's gone, he's gone through. Yone Simicic at the front of the field at T1. Yone Simicic has got it done, but Zbigniew Shara with the cutback. So much pressure, you could feel sick 
in the seat of Zbigniew Shara, but he is not driving like a man with that pressure on his shoulders. Back in front. Now we see Jimmy Yusula of Satellite Racing going for the insight into turn one that might be cruising up to 18th position, and it is. Kevin Siggy, no chance to defend, and it seems like when it comes to rain receiving, he doesn't hear for the BMWs. Chani Simicic wants to get up the inside of Spiknev Shara. There's contact. Shara is running right, but Simicic could stop the car before having a big, big impact. There has to step back in this championship and heading into Sebring. There's the dive from Kasper Stolzer, who's just opened the door. Hoy is going to hang on a little bit of contact, but not too much. The pressure on Hoyer's shoulders, you can see it in his face. You can see how frustrated he's getting to Zbigniew Shara. No top, uh, only one top 10 coming into this evening. Got a top 10 earlier, no podiums to his name. Let's move that one aside for yet another new race winner. Shara on top as Butler Pal Motorsport take control of Sebring. Yerne Simoncic behind and Yuri Kasdorp, the only driver this season to take two podiums in one evening Andonovsky and Pev behind and this tight battle pack will see Michi Hoyer just grab onto ninth and Kasper Stoltz a tenth.